And I'm back with more Tales of Rise. Last time we beat Volrog. And we have liberated Pelegion. So now we're going to deal with the aftermath. The Renaissance has been taken from us. And eventually we're going to go to Lenegus. But we've got some things to do first. Like talking to Xion. Because talking to Xion's always good. So yeah, we're about 65 to 70% of the way through the game. We still got like a couple of major dungeons left before the main final boss, but because there's still stuff to do, but man, I forgot how... God, this stuff looks so fucking good. But yes. When I say this is the best looking Tails game, I fucking mean it. Look at this! Even just from a design, like, maybe not pure graphic standpoint, which it still is, but just the design aesthetic of some of these places. Hmm. Is something going on? Sounds like it. <coughs> wants us all to meet at the castle entrance. Taking in the view again? Yeah. Looking at the scenery helps take my mind off things. Like what? Being a maiden. Whether I really am a descendant of Naori. Those kinds of things. So, are you mad at me? For what? For what? <laughs> I'm like, what? I destroyed the Renaissance. Right as you were about to get rid of your thorns forever. Wait. Why you did you destroy it? When I saw it appear in front of me, it reminded me of what happened back on Lenegas. And the rest was... It was all just a blur. I'm sorry. He, I don't it must remember have been destroying a pretty terrible it. memory. Besides, we don't know that the Renes Alma actually was destroyed. For all we know, it might have disappeared with that red woman. That's what I thought. So, then why are don't. you? <laughs> it's okay. You brought me back. You got me away from Volron. That's enough for now. Let's get going. We shouldn't keep everyone waiting. Mm. Yeah, I don't remember him destroying it. I remember the red woman taking it. Hey, right, she joined the party. <sighs> hmm? Kisara said she wanted everyone to meet at the castle entrance. Mm. Hey, Shion. I... Don't. I... Okay. I... I'm sorry. But if you come any closer, you'll only end up getting hurt. Because of your thorns, you mean? Trust me, I've endured... No, that's not it. If you don't understand, I... <sighs> Never mind. Sorry, just forget I said anything, okay? If it isn't your thorns, does that mean there's something else? It's just... It's nothing, really, okay? So you can stop asking me. I... Okay. In that case, I... I'll see you up ahead, okay? Hmm. 
Okay, this is, a, this is definitely something weird. But not in the same way they usually are. Well, yeah. just, just something off. So yeah, this music is definitely reminding me of some of the stuff from Star Ocean, which, um, Motoi Sakuraba is the main composer for both. And I'm definitely reminded of the village of Aquios from, um, Star Ocean 3. Regardless of what I'll say about how that game's plot is, the music's pretty damn good in that game. I, I don't know if I would say this is a particularly memorable game, music-wise, this one, Arise, but, um, it's got some stuff I'll listen to, but I'd have, I have to, like, this isn't, like, instantly identifiable, like a Final Fantasy game, or Persona, or Legend, of whatever, this is more like a Dragon Quest, where there's some good stuff, but it's nothing that I'm, like, going out of my way to care about. And it's mostly because the storyline just keeps on going. It's hard to even put any thought into this stuff. So it's weird that now we finally get a chance to listen to the music. Wow, people in the palace. That's weird. Yeah. <laughs> people actually working in the palace. That's kind of crazy. Um, I mean, it makes sense. Nobody's going to clean this up on their own. It's going to feel really weird for Alfin and Shion and the rest. Like, Dohalim and Kisara have experience, but nobody else has experience of, like, leading a nation. Okay, it, it was water the whole time. Good. Because I was thinking it was, like, the hollowing, and I'm like, eww. That would be very bad. But no, it was legit water. Okay. Because they sure as fuck would not want more hollowing to happen. Yeah, and that stuff flows a lot more than the hollowing does. Because the time of recording and up, like the upload, I have the upload of learning about the hollowing. So we're about, you know, 20, 30 episodes ahead of that schedule. I don't know how much longer the game's got. I'm gonna say it's about the same. I'm gonna say this is gonna end up being the same length as like Yakuza and the East, but maybe a little shorter. Maybe like 80, 85 episodes, give or take, rather than a full like 90 or 100. But don't quote me on it. Those final dungeons might take a while, but I don't have to show off everything in the dungeon. I just have to like show, because that's my thought process is just show off the way of getting there. And then leveling up to do the thing, I guess. Hello. Oh, it's you two. I suppose that makes me the last one then. We better get a move on, or else we'll never hear the end of it from Kisara. Right, you are. A month has passed since we vanquished Volron. I would have thought that the Renans on Lenigus would have made their move by now. Yet they still remain as silent as ever. We have no idea what happened to Volron's body, nor its whereabouts. The Red Woman also has yet to reappear, for that matter. And contrary to what I had heard, when the Renis Alma formed, not five, but six elements were present, with darkness constituting the sixth and final Master Core. Were either of you aware of this? You mean about the Renis Alma? Of course not. Same. I had no idea a Darkness Master Core even existed. What about Xion's Maiden Powers? No. That was the first I learned about that, too. Or anything about having that power. 
Me too. I remember thinking the same thing. What could it all mean, I wonder? There are so many questions with too few answers. Particularly when it comes to that red woman and her abilities. Were it any other ability that used astral energy, I'd say it was an astral art. But hers was... different. Speaking of astral energy, we also mustn't forget that while the other master cores disappeared when forming the Renis Alma, for some reason the fire master core remained. It may well have been the work of your maidenly powers. Alfin, are you still able to wield the blazing sword as before? For now, at least. That Renis Alma sucked most of the energy out of the fire master core, but it still has enough for me to use the sword. And the sword is safe inside of me for the time being. Good. At least that's one thing we needn't concern ourselves over. You can say that again. We have more than enough to deal with as it is. Let's go. Hey, wait up! <laughs> Hello? I heard we are all to meet at the castle entrance. can't really get oh yeah it's still legitimate it's just water okay good. I was like I'm still trying to figure out which part is water which part is not but in fact it's gonna bug me unless I look at it because if I recall notice that this stuff isn't floating or flowing so that is the hollowing it's still there I mean how are you gonna get rid of it god that's such a fucking ugh. yeah how would you dispose of that stuff it's gotta go somewhere so it's just a weird reminder of things Hello, we've got people. All right. This is Ganya, who has a problem he needs help with. I was just about to ask him what that problem is. All right, then. Well, tell us what's on your mind. I'm hungry. You're hungry? Where are your rations? Did you not get... I did. Are they not enough? No, I have enough. Then what's the problem? Uh... Alfin, you have to remember. These people aren't used to responding so quickly. Be slow and... Oh, right. So you have your rations, and it's enough food. But there's still something wrong with them. I'm hungry. Yeah, I got that. Do your rations taste bad? I don't know. What's that supposed to be? I haven't eaten them, so I don't know how they taste. Wait, if you're not eating them, then what are you doing with them? Bringing them into the castle. What? Why? Wait, back up. Are others doing this? Who told you to bring your rations in? Everyone in my group is doing it. I don't know who told us to do it. They only said to bring the rations into the castle. I'm guessing none of us told them to do it, or else we'd know, right? I was afraid that something like this might happen. The people in this capital are slowly regaining their own wills, but not everybody is getting them back at the same rate. Are you saying someone who got their will back sooner might be taking rations from other people? If so, that's a serious problem. Definitely. This is something we can't ignore. That's an odd thing. It seems like the people here still tend to blindly follow any orders they're given. It's a reflex that was quite literally beaten into them. Undoing it will take some time. I know it's not their fault they're like that, but it's still irritating to deal with. Remind me, just what exactly are we all doing here? What do you mean? We're helping people, aren't we? Could have fooled me. 
Lately, it feels like everything we're doing ends up half-baked. <laughs> we liberated the people of Pelegion, but their hearts and minds are no less under the yoke than the day we found them. As for Volron's cronies, we have no idea where they scampered off to. You think I don't already know all that? We're doing everything we can, aren't we? We didn't choose to get stuck here. Sometimes you have to play the hand you're dealt. Besides, you've seen all the same things I have. You know as well as I do that deposing the Lords alone won't solve all the world's problems. Rinwell's right. We've gotten this far, haven't we? We can't just leave things unfinished now. I guess? I mean, I didn't think we'd be singing around the campfire as soon as the wall came down, but still. The fight isn't over just yet. At least not while Lenigus remains a threat. I'm just sick of all this waiting. If they're gonna invade, why don't they get a move on already? Stop that! Don't you think we've got enough problems as it is without you tempting fate? Leave it to law to just be <laughs> smash first, ask questions Spot later. Something? Hmm? Oh, no. Just wondering if I could see any armored guards. Armored guards? You mean Volron's soldiers? The moment we defeated their lord, all those guys bolted out of there. And not just out of the castle either. The city, too. For better or worse, it was the guards who looked after the city's Danons. Without them, making Pelegian half habitable again has been one big headache. It's not like they were on their last legs. They could have chosen to stay and fight, but instead they ran away and disappeared without a trace. But without a lord to follow, they can't have any place to go. Unless... You don't think they went to Lenigus, do you? It's not completely out of the question. Though I'd say it's more likely they're biding their time somewhere, just waiting for the perfect moment to strike back at us. The people here in Pelegion are nowhere near ready to defend themselves. <sighs> Great. Another headache to worry about. Is it just me, or was today's dinner a little low on salt? I felt that it was seasoned perfectly, so as to bring out the flavor of the ingredients. Last taste buds are still like a kid, so if his food isn't rich enough, I bet he doesn't feel like he's eaten anything at all. Don't make fun of me! We all need salt in order to survive! He has a point. You do lose stamina if you don't get enough salt in your body. Yeah. I remember seeing people trying to lick the rocks back in Calaglia. What? Why would anybody do that? Sometimes you can find rocks out there that taste salty. They used to say it was because of all the tears we slaves shed. Ugh. Most likely, that was actually rock salt that they found. When our provisions ran low, Magal would often bring some back for us to use. At the time, we used it because it's all we had. But now there's something hearty about rock salt I like. Even more than table salt. Is it possible, perhaps, to find any rock salt in these parts? It is. You have to know what you're looking for, but when I find any, I always break some up to refill our supply. The flavor even changes depending on what kind of terrain it comes from. Sometimes I end up collecting more than we need, just in case we like it. Wow, Kisara is really serious about her salt. You can always count on Kisara to be earnest. That's why we have to do our part and not add any more to her burden. <laughs> so yes, never thought I'd have a skit about salt. And licking rocks, but okay. <laughs> Super serious moment, I guess. But that's that's what skits do. They've always been like this. But again, this is stuff to add character, you know, or at least build weird camaraderie, I guess. I mean, you need shit like this every once in a while. I'm a big fan of like. There's a lot of stuff I've been watching. Uh, Anime-wise, and one of my favorite episodes was um, of Ergo Proxy was just an episode of the main characters sitting in a fucking thing, stuck, talking to each other, learning about how they exercised, learning about why they talk to each other, learning about where to go to to fish to eat food, little shit like that. As long as you don't overdo it, stuff like that can be helpful in. Providing stuff other than plot. Really search through this whole castle? Oh, quick grumbling. This sort of stuff's old hat for us by now. 
Yeah, you've got a point. But it's not going to take forever, Law, I promise. Let's just Let's do what we came here to do and get out. Um this is, I'm also watching a show called Space Battleship Yamato and uh like hot damn dude. Learning about the characters is much more fun than watching the drama about the fights and the stuff, the anime Star Trek stuff. Because it's cool, because it's not just that you're fighting an invading force, it's that every so often the, the show will spend time telling you about the villains and their culture and their lives and what makes them tick. Not everything, but eventually, like, it, it's still, like, 80-20... But it's like, it's still just enough. Just enough to give character. And it's like, oh, this is pretty neat. So so you need stuff like skits or social links or whatever to give extra meaning and, and subtext to, to what you're doing. Huh? Very well. Well. Hey. Pardon me. Oh. What the hell? Do these guys not realize who we are? It doesn't seem that way. You must think we're just damaged from the town. Whatever's going on, these are full run soldiers. Watch yourself. Here I go. One more. To the heat drop. Into the shadow. The enemy wields arts too. We'll soon see about that. I can't get out of this. Here, let me help. I don't know what I'm only getting one more. Perhaps now it is the time. I really don't. This one is getting it. Will this help? Lightning Gore! Alright, healing is on your side. Ready to press. There we go. Well? How? Oh, wow! So then. I can't huh. believe how quickly you got all those soldiers to obey you, Dohuim. Actually, they were abiding Ren in hierarchy. Not me, personally. Well, either way. Solve the problem, and that's what counts. Yeah, that works. That was neat. He pulled the he pulled the prestige card. So yeah, I do I do give the game credit for cutting things down. This is important kind of stuff to we normally don't stop and like help out the world outside of doing side questy bullshit, suspending an episode to like help the people. It's kind of nice. Cuz you need again, like I said about the anime examples, you need breaks in the action sometimes. 
Probably could have just used fast travel, but yeah. More chance to look at the scenery. I mean, it's not like I'm doing anything specific right now. So I'm not really in a hurry. I've been in a hurry for most of the most recent episodes. So it's nice to just back off. talked to the soldiers and made it clear that they are to remain in line. Things should stay calm for the time being. I know Renans tend to take authority extremely seriously, but you sure know how to throw your weight around as a former lord. I only managed to get through to them because Volron's curse is lifting, but not to the extent that they can act independently as of yet. Considering we had other matters to attend to for the past month, we should consider ourselves lucky that nothing occurred during our absence. But if they do start operating independently again, that's going to cause a whole new set of problems to deal with. Indeed. Ganeth Heros is unlike Menencia. Without intervention, they'll likely revert to oppressing the Danans as they were doing before. Meaning there's still a lot of work to be done in this realm. Not that there aren't problems among the Danans, too. Yes. There was no way to avoid the deep-seated conflicts that had festered here. But I just hate that we had to use your position as a lord to solve the situation, Dohalim. Had I not intervened, yet more blood would have spilled here, and nobody wishes for that. <sighs> so, what's going to happen to the Renans here now? Why do you ask? We've stripped the soldiers of their armor and locked them up. They can't hurt you guys anymore. I promise. So they're alive? They're... they're not going to die? What? Those people deceived us. They did terrible, terrible things to us. They made us suffer. Long before you guys came along. For years and years and years. It was constant. Never stopped. Not even for a day. So many people died. Our parents... Our children, our friends, they all died. They were murdered, and it was the Renans. The Renans were the ones who did it. They killed us. Why do they get to live after so many of us have died? The bastards should die. Every last one of them. I... I know how you feel, Ganya. I used to be a slave, and I hated the Renans just like you. I took up the blazing sword to bring them down. But along the way, I've met many people and seen many things. People refusing the hand life dealt them. People who have lost loved ones, but are still trying to make this world a better place. People driven by hate who stopped before it was too late. And those who couldn't and paid with their lives. And I fought plenty of people who were all too happy to make others suffer. Believe me. But after a while, I came to realize that it's not the Renans who are our true enemies. Then what the hell are we fighting if it's not them? We're fighting against anyone who tries to take what doesn't belong to them. But that's what these Renans are doing. How is that any different? Because I judge everyone by their own actions. That goes for Danans, too. Because at the end of the day, at the root of all evils committed, is an individual who committed them. You're right, Alfin. It seems like people are either blaming an entire race for one individual's sins, or an individual for everyone else's mistakes. But all that does is add more hate in a world that's already full of it. I want to help create a society where people can finally stop suffering and move beyond their pain. But if we try to do that with more violence, then we'll just end up right back where we started in the first place. 
All right. Have it your way. I can't argue with the folks that helped us get back our ability to think and speak freely again. Is that to say you trust us then? I don't trust the Renans as far as I can throw them. I trust you guys because of who you are and what you've done. Fair enough. We won't let you down, Ganya. What's the matter, Kisara? Is something wrong? Oh, no, nothing. It's fine, really. I'm just a bit worried about what'll happen to all these folks. Right. It'll take time before they start thinking for themselves again. Indeed. That is part of it. However, what I'm even more worried about is what will happen to them after that. What do you think they're going to want once they realize how cruel Volron was to them? Probably revenge. <laughs> what happened to Ganeth Haros is the worst form of oppression we've seen. But treated cruelly or kindly, slaves will rise up. Let this <coughs> aside, there are still remnants of Renan supremacists scattered throughout Dana. You mean all that trouble we went through to get rid of the Lords might just lead to more violence? That's the last thing I want to see happen. Of course not. And if we don't do something to prevent it all from starting up again, there could be even more bloodshed for us to regret. There's still a lot we don't know about the Renan rulers. Whatever the face of truth behind their veil, it's on us to put a stop to them. But there is one thing that's clear. Whatever we do to finally end it, our motives can't be getting back at the Renans, or it'll all be for nothing. So, what exactly is it that you're saying? That we should just act as if nothing happened? Law's right. We can't expect everyone to just forget all the pain they've endured up until now. Not so easily, at least. But we have to at least try to change course. We can't just keep allowing history to repeat itself like this. Exactly. Look, I won't deny that between the Crown Contest and 300 years of oppression, there's a lot of bad blood between the Danans and the Renans. But all these problems are just too big for us to try to carry the burden on our own. We'll keep doing our part in the interim, but we need to take this one battle at a time. Hmm. Yay! Increased aggro, nice. Glad that work's taken care of. I don't think we're done just yet. I want you all to stick around a little longer. There might still be people who need our help. When you think about it, thinking for yourself can be a heavy responsibility at times. Yeah, it's not like your mind will only ever think about good, happy things for one. Maybe so, but I'll still take that burden over living life as a puppet serving others. That's why I want to do everything I can to help these people. Okay. So let me save. Because the last couple of episodes have been pretty, pretty big. By our standards. But yes, we're making progress and stuff. So we'll make more progress next time.